I realized that I was leaving my country that I love so much when the houses started looking smaller as our plane was taking off. It is so hard to explain my feelings at that time. Hesitation, excitement, sorrow, happiness, curiosity. It's the only time I have felt this way. I love my country, but I had to take this journey to keep my promise to my dad. My dad Zeki was the symbol of success for me. All he wanted for his children was that they have a good education. I will never forget the happiness in his eyes when I was placed at a university. The first thing he did was to buy me a huge Webster dictionary, which I still have. He was 48 when he passed away during my third year at university. Just before he passed, he asked me to keep my family together, even though he knew it wasn't going to be easy for me. We arrived with $300 and everything we owned packed in two bags. As we were walking towards the customs officer, a tall man in traditional Australian outback clothing looked at us by salu saluting with his head with a big smile, said, Welcome to Australia! I looked at my husband and said, I will love this country. On the second day, we were on Sydney Road, hand in hand, so that we do not lose each other. Everything was different. The taste of milk, the smell of shopping centres, and especially the houses which were all single story. During the first couple years, we especially tried to find places that reminded of Turkey, so we did not feel so homesick. My husband was lucky. He found a job at a mailbox producing factory. I found it hard, but eventually a job in a hosiery factory where I worked there for five years. My husband Ali convinced me to do further study, so when my older son Dincha was born in 1990, I started university. When my younger son Erdinch was born in 1995, I was finally registered as a teacher. I now teach at Meadow Heights Primary School and on Saturdays I teach at a local Turkish ethnic school. My sister Esin, who is now a textile engineer, and my mother Ilkü live in Melbourne. I know that my father will be happy because we are all still together here in Australia.